In my last video, I did an unboxing of this Hanamex E300 film editor from the 1970s. And in this video, I'm gonna open it up and take a look, see what's inside it. So I've taken off top screws and there's one on the bottom. Oh, and just as a comparison to show you how big this is, uh, it is really nice and compact. Uh, it's a nice little unit just against a standard tin there. Okay, so if we just move these out a little bit and then the back just comes straight off. And in there, there's actually a mirror that is uh, screwed down into the base there. So that bounces the, uh, the picture off the film into the lens, sort of lens here, this Fresnel lens. Uh, that displays the image from the film. So around the front, the film was on those spools, which you may have seen in the last video. Uh, and then there was a tiny sort of like glass prism uh, where the light sh shines through. And then that bounces into this mirror and then bounces into the other mirror that we just saw and then into there. So there's not a lot inside it, as you can see here. Move that round, bring it, bring it there. Um, so you've got a transformer here for the power and that all that's doing is powering that light bulb that we saw in the last video and there's a bit down here which is the on and off switch for the light but that is it uh, and obviously there's nothing in the back either which makes it easy to uh, put something in like we can put in a hdmi converter for the screen uh, and hopefully it should be relatively easy to fit a seven inch screen into this area in other projects, I've heard that uh, you need to do a bit of metal filing. That's possibly around these bits here, which keep this Fresnel lens in place. Uh, but we won't need that once we get the seven inch screen. Now, I'm also not sure how we're gonna cope with some of the electronics that need to sit in there. Um, we may need to mount the screen upside down if there's a sort of uh, quite a chunky connector that we need on the uh, on the base of the screen. So if the connector's sort of got coming off the bottom there, um, then that's gonna be impossible to get through here. So maybe you flip it upside down and tell the screen to present itself uh, 180 degrees and then have the uh, connector at the top. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of measurements, make sure that the screen will fit. I'll let you know which one I chose in the description uh, and then we'll go about fitting it in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.